When it comes to technology, some people just don't find it reasonable to spend crazy amounts of money on a gadget that gets old in just a couple of years. Yet, those same people still want the full smartphone experience, the camera, the apps, and the speed. Are there any budget phones that fulfill these criteria? The good news is that with recent launches, the answer is a resounding yes. We now have phones that are cheap without being downright ruined by terrible issues. Those budget phones do not lag terribly, they have decent cameras, and some of them even come with a very likable design. After hours of research, and after taking experts' advice, we have listed the 7 best budget smartphones to help you choose the one that suits you perfectly. The links for the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, pickadvisor.com. Let's get right into our top picks. Number 7. TCL 30 5G People who want a long-lasting 5G phone that's capable of taking advantage of the carrier's fastest speeds should consider the TCL 30V 5G. It's another example of a 5G phone that won't break the bank, as you can find this particular handset for less than $300. As is typical of TCL phones, you get a big, expansive display with accurate colors. The Snapdragon 480 5G silicon powering the phone doesn't exactly offer blazing performance, but that's a trade-off you make for a cheaper device. You will be pleased with the phone's battery life, which hit 11 hours and 46 minutes in our testing. Number 6. Redmi Note 11 It might sit at the bottom of Redmi's latest smartphone lineup, but the vanilla Note 11 is one of the cheap phones around and still benefits from Snapdragon Silicon, a 50 megapixel main camera, and an OLED display with respectable refresh rates. Its matte finish also does a solid impression of a pricier handset. A full HD AMOLED display is rare at this price, especially one with a 90Hz refresh rate. It's not as silky as a 120Hz panel, but it still makes for smoother scrolling. At 6.43 inches, the Redmi Note 11 screen is big without being cumbersome. It's bright and sharp, although it does without HDR. Of the four lenses, only one is worth writing about, the 50 megapixel main snapper. Feed it lots of light and you'll be rewarded with detailed stills. Color consistency drops considerably in low light though, while dynamic range is generally disappointing. Even with an all-new Snapdragon 680 processor, the Note 11 still stutters, especially when multitasking. Battery life is more impressive thanks to the 5000 mAh cell, but you're still stuck using Xiaomi's heavy-handed MIUI interface. The Note 11 is a solid option for buyers on a truly tight budget. Number 5. Moto G Stylus The Moto G Stylus is pretty unique among budget phones thanks to its namesake stylus that tucks up into the device Galaxy Note style. It's also got adequate performance with a MediaTek chipset, 6 gigs of RAM, and a smooth 90Hz display. In addition, the phone has a super battery life. In our review, we saw more than two full days between charges. Unlike the rest of its Moto G siblings, it has an NFC chip, so you can use tap to pay via Google Pay at stores, handy when you forget your wallet at home. It also includes 5G connectivity, so you can benefit from the newer and faster cellular network. Motorola is even promising three years of security updates, and best of all, the 5000 mAh battery lasts nearly two days. Performance is fairly snappy thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor inside, so you'll have no trouble running most apps and games just fine on this handset. It also surprisingly comes with the 256GB of internal storage, which is rare to see even on high-end phones. Thankfully, there is a microSD slot in the SIM tray, so you can expand it if you fill up all that space with cat photos. If you're expecting great photos, well, temper your expectations. The images you'll get out of the Moto G Stylus 5G are passable, but they sit a few rungs below the Pixel 6a and Galaxy A53. Number 4. OnePlus Nord N20 once in a while, you come across a smartphone that punches above its weight. For those who are looking for something that's less than $300, that phone is the OnePlus Nord N20, which we found to be an easy recommendation for budget-minded consumers looking for a cheap Android phone. OnePlus delivers a slick performance, which is admirable considering the price. But it also comes with an OLED display that we found to be bright and punchy, and even worthy of a $600 phone. It also improves readability, and it single-handedly makes up for the fact that the camera system is really nothing to write about. About. The OnePlus Nord N20 is a solid performer for playing games, consuming media, and of course, making calls. In fact, you'll barely notice that you're using a mid-range phone, and if you're happy to compromise on the camera features, you'll love it for your daily needs. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy A53 the Samsung A53 5G offers an outstanding value under $450. It has one of the best screens in its class, 
no surprise from display maker Samsung. With a 6.5-inch 1080p OLED that provides richer contrast than the LCDs that are common in this category. It also uses a top refresh rate of 120Hz, which makes for smooth scrolling and a little bit more of a premium experience. The A53 5G's battery lasts a full day of use, and the Exynos processor gets through daily tasks fairly smoothly. The phone's main 64-megapixel camera is a cut above the usually unremarkable cameras in this class, with optical image stabilization to help you get more sharp shots in poor lighting conditions. It stands out from other budget Android phones in a lot of ways, but the A53 5G's best feature may be its excellent software support policy. Samsung has promised 4 years of Android OS version updates and 5 years of security updates. That gives the A53 5G an exceptionally long shelf life, especially among Android phones where 2 or 3 years of security updates is more common. Considering that the phone is also IP67 rated for dust and water resistance, it should last a long time. Number 2. Apple iPhone SE 3rd Gen Want an iPhone for not a lot of money? The 3rd generation iPhone SE 2022 is the way to go. It doesn't change much externally from its predecessor. You still get a 4.7-inch LCD screen that feels cramped to type on, with thick bezels on the top and bottom. It looks old, but maybe you like that. It's the only iPhone Apple sells with a home button and touch ID. Apple stuffed the same chip that powers its flagship iPhone 13 range, the A15 Bionic, into the iPhone SE 2022, meaning this is the most powerful sub-$500 smartphone around. It can handle anything you throw at it. This chip also improves battery life, but the tiny phone will still last only about a day, maybe less if you use it a lot. There's sub-6 5G support, and it remains one of the best few smartphones at this price with wireless charging. The lone camera on the back takes great photos during the day and handles high contrast scenes as well, but unfortunately, Apple still didn't include night mode, which is available on its pricier iPhones. That means in low light, you can expect muddy, grainy, and blurry shots that don't hold a candle to what you'll capture on the Pixel 5a 5G. At the very least, this iPhone will last a long time, as Apple supports its devices for years. We'd recommend slapping a case on the glass back and a screen protector on the front to keep it looking fresh. Number 1. Google Pixel 6a The Pixel 6a brings many of the best features of Google's flagship phones to a sub-$500 price point. While that description also fit for the Pixel 5a, the Pixel 6a has the benefit of following in the footsteps of the much more successful Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, which means it gets Google's powerful Tensor chipset. This is a dramatic performance boost from the Snapdragon 765G in the Pixel 5a and catapults the Pixel 6a to near the top of the performance charts in this price range. The cameras and the 60Hz display are the biggest sacrifices you're making by going with the A series, but thanks to Google's computational photography prowess, it is still considerably better than its budget competition. Unlike some other budget models, you also get the exact same modern design as the flagship Pixel phones and with its more modestly sized camera array and 6.1-inch display. The Pixel 6a is more pocketable than its siblings. Top all of this with 5 years of security updates and Google's handy Pixel feature drops and it's easy to see why the Pixel 6a is the best cheap phone around. Flagship phones are more expensive than ever, but as the high-end gets better, so too does the budget market. It's possible to buy a new handset under $250 and still get a phone capable of handling everything you throw at it. The best budget phones are also more attractive in the long term thanks to cheaper contract prices, though you might prefer to buy these smartphones outright and then pay only for your minutes, text, and data if you can swing it. However, getting the best budget smartphone is quite challenging when you have plenty of models available on the market with a decent design and innovative features. All the products mentioned above are a perfect blend of versatility and innovation, providing the users the best-in-glass experience. Choose wisely which product suits you the best and will fulfill all your requirements. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video, and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.